And on to tonight's headlines. That's my freaking life! Nice place. Hey, cheers, Viking! Hey, good dancing. Hey, who is this bird guy? Video games? Bubbles! Nice pie. What's this place? She's cute. Good party. Well, that was a short break. Oh, uh, wow. What is that, uh, uh, like a 15 second commercial? That was really not long uh, enough. Uh, the teleprompter guy is no longer advancing the teleprompter forward. Certainly not. The uh, ramifications of clean energy that can fit in the back of a truck are basically astounding, although I would not want to be riding in that truck if it gets hit by another truck. Yes, there may very well be the tearing of atoms near your very home. A cat cafe? What's that? <laughs> Boy, I'm glad you asked that, Ascot. I noticed Purringtons in the middle of your story moved from Portland to Medford. That is Explain. A, a, a very inappropriate 280 mile jump. Could there be any other explanation? This reporter thinks not. This reporter also thinks not. Uh, yeah, roll it back a little bit uh, there on the queue. Back, 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 back. Great. And now we go to weather with... Oh, yeah. Gangster Weather Man. God damn, it's hot out there. Shit. Hey, hold that stuff. Yeah, brother, what's up? Nah, I'm doing one uh. weather, man. You can't call me right now. I got that snow. Man, I'll get you later, bro. Yeah, yeah. Let me call you back. Or late. Now, I don't know if you and me are the same. I mean, I guess organically speaking, we have some differences. But this reporter's mind was deeply blown. I feel like we're really pushing the envelope now. Star Trek. We're going to get there. We're going to get into space. I'm telling you, we're going to space. We're finally going to make it. Rocks. Sorry. Pet rock for your computer. You know what they say, sell me crap once, good job. Sell me crap twice, 40 years later. I don't think there's a saying for that. Pet rock, USB. <laughs> <laughs> what does it do, Gordon? It sits. I guess it rocks, actually. <laughs> uh, it, it looks like it's... Yeah. Um... The facial flex is a, a wonderful invention for people that have a size concerns. Uh, it's really good for exercising the muscles in your mouth, like you're um, singing or uh, performing a Muppet uh, show. The facial flex. Mm. Ooh. Moving on. And oh. now our movie review section. Do, do we have anybody doing the to do the movie review? Uh, no, I've been told that we don't have anybody to do the movie review. Uh, well, um, have you seen any good movies uh, there lately, Ascot? I did. I, uh, I just saw the the Lego Movie. Oh, the Lego Movie was awesome. Oh my God, I love this song. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool. If you're worried about finding nothing good to watch, you're in luck because you found something to watch. Something that will evoke feelings in you of some kind. You may find that the news is quite newsy here. You may find that your spirits are lifted and that your body is going translucent. You may find that your water has been spiked. And I apologize for that. <laughs> Southern Oregon News Network. We're happy that you're happy. And if you're not happy, well, f <laughs> <laughs> Well, now here's an interesting story. Johnny Strange of the United Kingdom holds the record for the most apples held in the mouth 
and cut by a chainsaw in one minute, which is apparently eight. <laughs> Imagine a movie that was made for only $30,000 that scared even the director of The Exorcist. The Babadook. Babadook. Afterwards, when it, you're just feeling those fear and then you just get to be really close with someone and have that same fear be really consensual fear, it's really an emotional roller coaster of joy and scaredness. Oh, yeah. You gotta see it. The Baba Duck is 10 out of 10, would recommend every time. Every time. The uh, Something about the, uh, yeah. Uh, to, uh, uh yeah. Baba Duck. In the world, son. Aren't you? I feel the same way. When I was your age, I took up the drink. That made me strong. Then for a while, I was a sailor on the open sea. And then I got into raising llamas. You have all of these opportunities too. <laughs>